everyone, I'm Vasher, and this is our new full-time co-host, Rebel. Say hi, Rebel. Hola. Okay. Now, he will be fully assisting us and even speaking in future episodes, instead of just hopping around doing random nonsense in the background. So, that should be a new experience. And today, on episode 4.5, we'll be going over the Mythic Map Pack, the also coveted Mythic Map Pack. Today we'll be going over Orbital, Assembly, and Sandbox, all for your forging and for Whoa, whoa, pleasure. whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean 4.5? Is this half an episode or something? Well, well, you see, we didn't want to use the entire episode 5 just to go over Mythic Maps, because this still is a tutorial program. So we wanted to keep the main episodes for tutorial. But Can it be like four point like eight three seven two four? Yeah, who is it? Let me in. I'm the host. Orders from who? From your freaking mom. Let me in. Let me in. Mommy? <laughs> now, welcome to Orbital. Orbital is a very large multiplayer map designed specifically for matchmaking and player game types. Although most people would like to, it's not the best choice for Forge, in which case we probably wouldn't recommend it. Oh, we probably wouldn't recommend it to most people. Now, we're going to be doing all the Mythic maps, uh, considering a sandbox and assembly. Assembly is good, but once again like this, there's really nothing you can forge on it because it's so cramped. Um, pretty much sandbox makes up for all of that, considering it's three maps stacked on top of each other. But besides that, uh, we'll just be doing tutorials and quick videos on that from now on. Thank you. Hey, Rebel, it's okay, you don't need to do this, dude. Don't do it. Don't do it. You can't... Bobby doesn't love me. No, Daddy doesn't much. love me. I got fired from my job. No, no. There's, there's nothing to live for anymore. It's not your fault. You got Halo. Basher, say something so I won't do it. Okay, Rebel, you got Halo. Yeah, you got Halo. You're horrible. 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 Um, there's a giant hole in the middle of Orbital. I call it the Leap of Faith. It is this giant gap where the two teams can have each other pass and see each other, but not fully contact each other unless they want to. Right down here is a pretty, um, down spot to be. If you get caught on the lower end of this battle, you're in a bad spot. It's just hard to take cover back there. And there's but a big yellow thing that says caution or ramp. Yeah, you should know that. But up here, if you catch an enemy down there, you have the upper hand. Not only do you have high ground, you have a more clear shot at them, but if you're risky, you may be able to make the jump down there. But, but the top ramp scary. does not say caution ramp, so you, it might be unsafe, because it doesn't warn you. We apologize for not getting a longer tutorial on Orbital. Uh, a lot of things have been going on with Rebel, so we uh, didn't have much time to go in detail. But, as you can see, we're going to demonstrate where all three skulls in these mythic maps are, starting with this map. So let's come right up here, as you can see right where Rebel is. The skull is in this tiny little slit. But, there, the, in, in this, you see four grenades and a plasma grenade. There are not usually grenades there. I just killed myself there earlier. Yeah, thank you for sharing that, Rebel. Alright, all you want to do to grab it is to just get right over this ledge and turn into human mode. He's not lying. And then, you gotta come right here. Yep. Crouch down. Press RB. Skull. Welcome to Assembly. As you can see right now, there is a giant scarab going over my head. Um, that's just one of the many new things that Bungie has added with these mythic maps that really keep them interesting and keep you guessing. Um, 
It's a very uh, straightforward map, but very confusing at the same time. Um, we're going to be finding the skull here as well, but not yet. Okay, so this is assembly. It's a big purpley structure in the middle of a giant scarab factory, as you saw the giant scarab goes overhead occasionally. It's always fun to watch. Um, but let's continue with the tour and go into the center, right here. This is where the main combat happens. Uh, it's not always the smartest idea if they're rushing here, guns to blazing, and you'll probably die in Slayer matches. Um, as you can see, Bungie disguised the active camo, and it's right here. And it's all pretty new. And, um, if you continue out here, you see that there are multiple structures like this. There's tiny little structures that you can run through that are nice and cozy. Um, like I said, this will make a very decent section map. And so, right here is a grab lift. It's a neat little thing. Uh, there's not much to do if you start down there, you come up here. We all know how grab lifts work. Whoa, keep on things. Alright, uh, out here, we've got assembly again, and if we hop right down here, have a small little outpost structure. So now we're in the underside of the map, which um, basically the canals. I think this is where uh, most of the intense fighting will occur, because it's so much, it's so intact, right down here. People are going to be killing each other off the chain. And so we're going to continue on here, and that's, that's basically it. It's a very symmetrical map. Uh, Four-way symmetrical. It's got no real detail to it other than that. But I, I'm, to be perfectly honest, I never really cared for this map. But, you know, it, I still have to get the tour. But now I guess we can move on to the Mythic Skull, which can also be found here. over here. So, it's right inside this little tube thing here. Oh my god. But yeah, the um, skull is right inside that little tube thing there. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. There's only two sides, so it's kind of hard to not be able to find it or get confused. All you gotta do is pick the little sucker up and you've got 25 more gamer points. If you need them, you spend your whole life playing Halo anyway.